What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we'd love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now I'd like to give you guys my thoughts on episode 6 of Mighty Ducks Game Changers. And this is a show that is starting to trend in the right direction for me. <clears throat> now, if you remember earlier in this season... I really had a problem with how generic the kids were and how bad the parents were. I said the kids aren't interesting because they're all just kind of these stereotypical kids that just, you know, are defined by a personality trait. And the parents were just all kind of bad people. And then Gordon Bombay, who might have been the most interesting character, he was just barely in it. Well, his role has been increasing and he's still one of the more interesting characters in the show. Um... But we're also, while the parents, I, I'm still not a fan of hardly any of the parents. I guess Lauren Graham's character is starting to get a lot more likable as her um, relationship with uh, Gordon Bombay um, continues to kind of blossom. It, she's getting more and more likable. She's still kind of that Karen figure, right, who, who um, you know is going to stomp and pound. And I guess she's not really doing that anymore. She's had, I guess she has seen growth as the series has progressed because this episode she did allow her son to make a big decision on his own which involved do i go back to the ducks or do i stay with the don't bothers and uh she she you know she was able to sit back allow him to make that decision on his own and she was proud when he made the right decision but this episode was like one of the, the more hyped episodes coming into this uh this series because it brought back <coughs> excuse me it brought back the kids from the original movie and obviously they're all grown up now and they're coming back for this big 25th anniversary ducks gala reunion and um this really involved putting the gordon bombay character into perspective and that's a good thing because this is a character that right now has just kind of been this generic um kind of failure of a person self-loathing in the whole nine yards and this episode really put in it into perspective that he's kind of a, a a lost person and he wants to continue to do good but he's lost confidence in himself he's lost direction he's lost purpose and because of that he's just kind of wallowing in this pit of despair and and he's hanging on to this hockey rink as one last shred of keeping what he what he loves <clears throat> and now he's got this team practicing on his ice called the don't bothers that you know obviously he's kind of getting in tight with mom but at the same time he's seeing that there's the potential to have purpose again and nothing brought that to light more than having dinner with his original team from the first movie and he was so unable to connect with them because he was so disappointed in himself that they looked at it as him not caring. And I thought that was a very complex interaction. And I really liked that interaction because it was it could have been just all let's meet, let's have this great dinner and it's going to inspire him to coach again. But instead, we saw the, the complex relationship that he has with these former kids of his. Now, they're obviously adults. Because if you remember in the movies, after he coached them, he went on to do other stuff. So immediately, you've got this situation where, yeah, there could be complex relationships there. And there could be unsaid things. And there could be difficult, unresolved things. And um, and we kind of had the ability to, to kind of... Um, resolve some of those issues in this episode and, and it did inspire him to start coaching again but not from a not from a um that's right i was great mentality you know it was more from a these i made an impact on these kids lives and that is what i want to be into so <clears throat> so i i definitely I definitely can relate to that, and I think that that is uh, um, the direction that this show really needs to go. Is we don't, you know, winning hockey games does not have to be the priority of the Don't Bothers, but developing people. 
should be the priority of the don't bothers. And we're already starting to see that play out a little bit. So I really like the direction of this episode. I really kind of had a bit of a tonal shift there towards the end where, you know, now Gordon Bombay is 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 kind of poised to have a more significant role moving forward. So, like I said, I definitely appreciated that. So, this was a very good episode. This was my favorite episode so far. And, yeah, there was some nostalgia in it. There was some kids who said their famous one-liners. And some of the kid, you know, obviously adults now. But some of the adults, former kids, doing their voices. And just, there was nostalgia there. But it definitely felt earned. Because they kind of did the nostalgia moment and then they would poke fun of it and saying, yeah, I don't really do that anymore. I'm just doing it because I'm here with you guys. And like, I can relate to that too. If I get together with a bunch of my buddies from high school, things that I don't do anymore that I did in high school might come out again because I'm there with them. And it's, it's just, it's like a muscle memory. It just, comes out again so again i can relate to that as well so very strong episode here i really liked it a lot and uh by far my favorite episode so far and it's not just nostalgia talking but it really brought up some complexities that um the it, it advanced the form of storytelling that we got with the mighty ducks game changers and i definitely appreciated that so what did you think of episode six of mighty ducks game changers let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear your take on it while you're down there commenting, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content, and I want to make sure that you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the LQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we'd love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.